Alright, welcome back to the video. Um, wasn't gonna do a video today, but uh, Christian Mancini came to town. He lives in Arizona and he picked up a new car, so uh, we're gonna do some maintenance on it. So, uh, Carlos, I'm gonna try and have him help me on that. And I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, last week I cracked the fender on the Skyline. So I did some some jank fiberglass repair. Uh, I'm gonna have Ricky paint it, and then I also have a crack on my front bumper right here. So there's a little crack right here. Um, I figure since. Oh shoot, I, oh my god, how did I get here? So, oh, you almost fucking nailed the fucking thing. Yo, you're sketch. Well, Christian got a new car. It's not from here. This is my So uh, Christian got his car in here. They just left to AutoZone to get a uh, oil, trans fluid, and diff fluid. Carlos started looking at this. Carlos is a very, very smart person, and uh, he is kind of at a loss right now what it could be. So they're going to get food and uh, some fluids. So hopefully he thinks about it and figures something out because I spent like almost a thousand dollars on sensors now. And to be honest, I'm pretty over spending money on sensors that do nothing on this car so i hope carlos can figure something out uh we, we haven't checked timing i don't think that's what it is i don't know who knows i've done vacuum leaks or i've like checked for vacuum leaks but it only does it when it's at running temp like it idles high when you first start it on cold start and then once it gets to running temp it starts doing that fucking bogging thing and i'll show you uh like when they get back i'll show you what it sounds like right now that's the plan but today's kind of just a mellow day if we can fix this that'd be cool um, and then we're gonna get that car all set up. That thing is so clean here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little walk around right now for you. So a little bit about this car. Um, not sure on the year on it because they're gone, but interior is crazy clean, super virgin. It is auto. Whoa, has a crazy ass Alpine fucking head unit in it though. And then it has a NA2J, very clean engine bay. Pretty cool. Has like a, right here, has a the TRD Sports front grill thing. Looks pretty OEM. Like OEM like style, I guess. Has the OEM style front lip. Nice little fog lights. Track M's. I didn't even know what that is, but I read it to sound smart. Whoa, these little antenna things. Pretty crazy. And then uh, Avant 2.5, that's what it says right here. Yeah, I, I probably sound pretty stupid talking about this car. I've only seen uh, one other one in my life, so I know nothing about these cars, but it's pretty cool. It's an OEM wing. This thing is like so fucking super excited on how uh what he does with this and how this all turns out and uh they're they're still gone right now so we got my fiberglass repair kit from autozone we got the hardener the resin got some of the mat i'm gonna set the bumper up right now and uh see if i can fuck some shit up got my little uh cup set up to mix this stuff and this is a toothbrush that we used and uh it's all like stuck together so just gonna mix it with that got my drill with a little wire brush on it. I'm gonna clean it up um, all around it so it sticks better. You can see like all this already re-cracked. So I'm gonna hit like all up in here and 
mean, it's not necessary, but I figure since the car's basically broken, I cracked that fender, I might as well fix this. So that's what we're gonna do. Set it up on like a little time lapse right now, and yeah. finished up the fiberglass repair job. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I bought a kit and I mean, my fender came out, I wanna say okay. Um, relatively smooth, crack is not there. I mean, it's there, but it's, I don't know. I'm not no uh, professional, but 20 bucks sounds better than paying for somebody to like re-gloss it and if it holds, it holds, so. So it looks like I laid tape on the front side just so it would stay uh, like flat and I flipped the bumper upside down so the resin would all like drain right there and hopefully make it strong. Who knows? If you know anything about like fiberglass work, tell me if I did anything wrong in the comments or like a hint or I don't know. Tell me something. Tell me how you feel. I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Carlos and Christian should be back any minute now and we'll get started on this car and Carlos will finish looking at that thing. All right, so Christian finally got back. Oil's drained. What are you doing? Quartz. Five quarts? Cinco for you Latinas. <laughs> uh, shout out to Mobile One, my new sponsor of this year. <laughs> you stupid ass <laughs> motherfucker. All right, but anyways, he, uh, you got diff fluid out, right? Yeah, diff fluid's out, ATF's out. Diff fluid's out, ATF's out. It's going pretty good, just need to fill everything up. I'm really lazy at doing this stuff. You're super dirty, dude. Dirty, girl. Look at this. knee. <laughs> you know what that means when his knees are dirty. <laughs> yeah, So we figured out the problem with the Skyline. Actually, we, Carlos did. Um, there's like a secondary, uh, what do you call it? Idle air control valve. Yeah, air regulator, idle air, some bullshit. So it's like an air regulator, idle air control valve, which basically goes from the bottom of the intake manifold to whatever that sensor is. And then there's a sensor under that, and then it tees up into this, which goes into the idle air control valve. So basically we put a bolt in right here. Well, he took it apart, capped this and capped that. We started the car and it worked. So we just got a bolt and put a little clamp on it. Got this little nipple. And now the now the car like idles fine, doesn't do that dropping thing. Let's so you're saying, you're saying basically, you think that sensor is like blown or whatever on the inside, so it's creating a vacuum leak? Yeah, so it's supposed to, it's supposed to regulate how much air goes in and out of the manifold to supply to the idle air control valve, which is before the throttle body. And it wasn't doing that, so it was creating a, it was just staying open always. And what was happening is the manifold couldn't build pressure and it, the ECU was thinking it had a vacuum leak, so it kept idling up and down. So we don't know if this is like a permanent fix or... It's permanent after, I'm not coming back here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if this is like a permanent fix or if something's gonna change when it's warmed up or anything, but as of right now, uh, it did fix the problem. So we're gonna let it warm up, go drive it, and see, see how it does. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so gay. <laughs> That's Jason and Noah on a street bike, fucking nuts to butts right now. Here's 
smoking weed, dog. <laughs> So uh, I told Jason and Justin to do a flyby on the freeway. You want to get up here, buddy? Mr. Beldy. Mr. Beldy, <laughs> filming a vloggy. <laughs> My name's Mr. Beldy. Okay, so just went on a little drive and uh, it was still doing the surging thing a little bit, so we came back and uh, earlier. Uh, I had a charcoal canister here with like a bunch of vacuum lines like going up everywhere. So I wanted to delete the charcoal canister for a while and uh, Carlos helped me delete that. And like as of right now, uh, we found out that the blow off valve actually was leaking, causing another vacuum leak. So this, this line normally goes uh, right here we cap that off because when the car is idling you can feel air blowing out so basically uh, as of right now the blow off valve is basically a plate so it does a cool little and it does a little cool flutter right now but that is bad for the turbo so I'm just going to get a new blow off valve but uh yeah I'm super relieved Anyways, uh, today was a great day, super productive. Uh, Christian's car got work done, and then um, we figured out the problem with the skyline, so now just gotta get everything back together and painted, and probably be happy again, and just need to buy a blow-off valve. So thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, tell me how you thought of the video, have a good day.